Our planet's environmental future will be decided in the developing world, home to four-fifths of the world's population and the world's fastest growing economies. Developing countries have the least responsibility for climate change, but are already in the front line of its impacts. Many suffer from a drought of information and public debate. The Internews Earth Journalism Network supports local media in developing countries to redress this balance. It helps link the international climate science and negotiations with communities on the ground. Together with PANOS and IIED, it has formed the Climate Change Media Partnership, creating the largest media delegation in Copenhagen. Climate Change Media Partnership brings together environmental journalists from developing countries as no other partnership has ever done before. Giving voice to the voiceless is the most critical thing CCMP has given. Beyond the international climate negotiations, Internews is working on three fronts. With satellite images, you can portray exactly what is happening on the ground and make it more convincing that, indeed, there are changes occurring in the environment. Not only journalists, but uh, normal people, the public in general, we will understand much better the scale of the problem using these uh, new, new tools. The Himalayas is uh, one of the most vulnerable uh, global warming hotspots in the world. And that's why it's absolutely essential that the media understand exactly what is going on and how it's going to impact people from all over this region. The Clean Tip Media Initiative will be absolutely vital to help people get convinced about the need to move towards a green economy. Internews is creating a new generation of leaders in environmental journalism. Earth Journalism Network help us bring the knowledge, bring the expert, bring the funds for us to become better journalists. It offers you a window to the world of science um, and environmental journalism.